Hello everybody, welcome back, it's K to be Karen. And today we will be talking specifically about, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the idea of a driving test. And as promised, I said that I would be sharing a video about the idea of your preparation for your basic knowledge and sign test. Now, this video will be relatively short, but I do want to make sure that I convey all the different resources that I think is very helpful, especially if you're taking your driver's license for the first time or even taking uh, your written test or your road test for the first time. If you're an international student here in Canada, make sure that you're actually subscribing this channel because on this channel, you would be finding lots and lots of resources that I think would be very helpful for you. And if there is anything specific that you want me to create a video on, make sure that you're actually mentioning it in the comment section below because at the end of the day, I really wanna make sure that I'm creating all the different contents that you want me to create on and something that would be very helpful for you as well. So moving straight into the video. So to prepare for your basic knowledge and sign test, there is a specific website that you can actually approach in order to be able to prepare for your test very uh, proficiently well. So the first thing I wanna mention is that when you go onto the SGI website, now if you don't know what is an SGI website, that's completely okay. I will mention the link to that in the description below. So do make sure that after you've watched this entire video, make sure to click into my description and actually find that link and copy and paste it to your web browser and follow all the instructions that are on the website. Now, the first thing you do when you go to your website is you wanna look for the study materials that will help you succeed in this basic knowledge and sign test. So you wanna try their practice quiz. Now their practice quiz, I would say, is um, relatively very similar to the actual written test that you will see that day. So by taking part in their practice quiz, which is online and it can be available on their website in the link that I've uh, mentioned in the description below. So when you're taking this practice quiz, you're generally trying to prepare yourself um, for like different possibilities of questions. And most of the questions that you will see on your practice quiz is more or less the same that you will see in your written exam. So do treat this practice quiz as a great revision tool for yourself and that will be a great way for you to make sure that you're gaining as much marks as possible. Now, apart from the practice quiz, uh, there will be also a provincial sort of driving license handbook. I'm not sure for all of the provinces, but then um, if you actually go into their website, you will be able to find a handbook that will mention all the different rules and regulations about that specific province. So make sure that you have a very, very thorough read of that booklet at least one time. If possible, if you're a person who feels like um, you do want to take in and actually understand things more well, I would highly recommend you to either print out all those pages in the PDF using a printer and then actually spending about like one hour to read through it more thoroughly so you can make sure that you can actually understand all those specific details. However, let's say if you don't have a printer at home, you could use an iPad, try to uh, download that PDF and use an Apple Pencil to actually go through every single material, highlight some of the important details so that you don't miss out on them. So I would like to mention that after you've read through the driving license handbook, once you've gone through the practice test, you're more or less prepared for your written test. So when you go for your written test, you want to make sure that you get at least 80% of that grade. Because when you get 80%, that is basically the passing grade. And you want to make sure that you can get that so that you can pass it and you can go for the next step, which is your road test. Now to book for the exam, you can either again go online to their website or you can um, visit the office. Again, it depends on different provinces here in Canada. Um, but then you can go to their office and then you can book it through their office as well. And then they will just allow you to go for a written test, depending on the date that you've booked your exam. So after you've done your written test, they will let you do a vision test. So a vision test is to make sure uh, that you have no physical disabilities and your vision is um, generally very stable. If your vision pass, if your vision test is generally passed, then you will be invited to do a road test, as I've mentioned in my previous video. So 
so this I would say is some of like the very general tips that I wanted to mention for your uh, written test, specifically um, the basic knowledge and sign test. Again, I really hope that you found this video extremely, extremely helpful. If you did, make sure to click in the like button and go and subscribe if you haven't, because that will be, again, a very great motivation. Before you leave today's video, make sure that you're actually going to the description of this video and accessing all the different things and links that I've mentioned so that you would be able to be well prepared for your written test. Uh, if you found this uh, very helpful, make sure to comment down below and share it to as many people as possible. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!